One of the questions that you will frequently be asked uh, on a star test is what is speed? I ask you to calculate the speed of an object. So let's take a look. So first thing we have to know is what is speed? We hear this word all the time. And we see speed limit signs, but what does that really mean? 55 what? And we can see down here it's, it refers to MPH. What would MPH stand for? Miles per hour. All right, we need to know that whenever we see this per, whenever we see this right here, this really means division. So what we're really saying is miles over hours. So let's take a look here. Speed is a change in distance over a change in time. How far do you go and how long does it take for you to go there? So in the speed limit sign is how many miles would you go in one hour? You would go 15 miles in one hour. So the formula is we're going to take the, the distance that you travel and divide it by the time that it takes you to travel. Let's take a look at a sample problem. A snail is sitting on a meter stick. It starts on the 40 centimeter mark and moves to the 20 centimeter mark. It takes 20 minutes to move this far. How fast is the snail moving? So let's write down what we know. It's always a good place to start. So we know distance. How far did that snail move? Well, it started at 40 centimeters, and then it moved to 20. So 40 minus 20 centimeters, we know that it moved a total of 20 centimeters. Okay, it is extremely important that we keep writing down the units. Now, how much time did it take to move that far? All right, well, it moved, took 20 minutes to go that far. And we always want to write down what is it that we're, that we're trying to solve for. We want to know what speed is. Okay, we're going to write down our formula. Speed equals distance over time. And then we're going to substitute in. Speed equals our distance is 20 centimeters. And our time is 20 minutes. And luckily, we have a nice easy math problem this time. And so speed is equal to 20 divided by 20 is obviously 1. Now, what are we going to put for our units? The, the great thing about this, we don't have to think. Just look and see what was left behind. If we've been writing down our units every step like we're supposed to, we know that that's going to be centimeters over minutes. And it's not going to get any more difficult for any other, one, other ones that we do. It could be kilometers, it could be miles, it could be uh, minutes, it could be hours, it could be uh, decades. It doesn't really matter as long as we write them down. One way that you're often going to encounter this data is in a speed graph, which is distance versus time. So just like we saw here in our formula, distance and time is what we're going to see here in our graph. So we can use this graph to actually calculate speed, which is why we call it a speed graph. So let's just take a quick look here. If we notice that at time zero, we are at distance or position of two meters. And at time of two minutes, we are at six. Remember that the formula for speed is equal to distance, change in distance over change in time. So how much did the distance change? 6 minus 2. So 6 minus 2, the unit is meters, over. And what is the change in time from 0 to 2? That was 2 minutes. So the speed over this time would be 4 divided by 2 meters over minutes. So we do that division out and speed is equal to 2 meters per minute. Okay, let's take a look what would happen from right here from time 7 to time 10. And it would go from, if we follow that over, 3 to 12. So now, 
The change in distance, 12 minus 3, is 9 meters. And the change in time, 10 minus 7, is 3 minutes. So the speed is equal to 9 divided by 3. So here, you'll see that the speed is 3 meters per minute. So if we look at that, 2 meters per minute, and look at how slanted this line is, and then look how steep this line is, 3 meters per minute. So the steeper the line is, the faster the object is moving. So steeper is going to lead, it's going to equal faster. The less steep it is, the slower it's going. All right. So we can tell the object is moving forward from 2 to 6 meters during these first 2 minutes. Take a look at what's happening in this time frame. From 2 minutes to 4 minutes, the object stays at position 6. So during this time frame, it's not moving at all. It's still. So whenever we see that it is a flat line, that leads us to it's not moving. And then as we go to this section right in here, it's going from position 6 backwards to position 3. So we know that whenever the line is slanted down, it's going backwards. In summary, speed is calculated by dividing distance, the change in distance, with the change in time. Speed is equal to the change in distance divided by the change in time. If we had a, a speed graph which has distance on the y-axis and time on the x-axis, we're going to notice that the steeper the line is, the faster the object is moving. So this line shows the object moving faster than this line. A flat or horizontal line is going to mean that the object is not moving at all. It's standing still. Its position is staying the same. Lines that are sloped downwards, like right here, are moving backwards.